When you see this icon, pause the presentation. Restart when you're ready. The East Skill National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. Kimmera how? How are you? Kimmera how? This lesson, we're going to be looking at how you answer that question and also how you can talk about how other things are as well. So do you remember the pronouns? Me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, eid. Me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, eid. That's the words we use when we don't use names. You're going to need to know them. The, the, pretty much the equivalents of I, you, he, she, we, you, plural or polite, and they in Gaelic. And um, one thing you might have noticed as well, we haven't looked at Misha, as in is Misha, I am. And uh, Misha is one of the emphatic forms, which we'll look at another f future event. But if you hear Misha, Usa, Essen, Isha, Shinya, Shivsha, and Iadsen, Misha, Usa, Essen, Isha, Shinya, Shivsha, Iadsen, they are just emphatic forms of the pronouns you already know. Um, really, they're a way in Gaelic for us to stress things without going, me, you. Uh, in Gaelic, you, do, you don't do that stress, you add little sounds then, like Misha, but Usa. So, is Misha, is Usa, um, is Usa, you are. Okay? So, just be aware that they exist, but we'll mostly deal with me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, iad going forward at the moment. So, that question, Kimere how? How are you? Kimere how? How are you? Kimere ha shiv? How are you? Plural or polite. And you'll hear that one quite often as well. Kimere ha shiv? If you want to ask how somebody else is, Kimiraha Ian, how's John? Kimiraha Mari, how's Mari? You'll also hear this thrown back at you. Kimiraha Hain. And the word Hain or Fain in Gaelic means self. So if somebody asks you about Kimiraha Hain, how's yourself? How are you yourself? Kimiraha Hain. And you'll hear that in Highland English, go, how's yourself? Kimiraha Hain. And also Kimiraha Shiv Hain. And that word hain can be used in the questions. For example, we've already looked at Jane Tenen Mahorst. So if you ask somebody, what's your name? What's your own name? Jane Tenen Mahorst, hain. What's your name? So always place hain after the word for you in the question. Kimera hao hain, kimera ha shiv hain, Jane Tenen Mahorst hain, or Jane Tenen Mahorst hain. So there's a few different ways to reply to that that you'll hear quite commonly. Kimera hao, hami kuma. I'm well. Hamiguma. The word ma means good, as we know already. But hamiguma, I am well. Going across to me, hami ski. I'm tired. Hami ski. I am tired. Negative sentences in Gaelic start with chanyel. Chanyel mi tonne. I'm not bad. Donna, bad. Chanyel mi tonne. I'm not bad. Hami kutoyal. Now, toyal means that you're really in good form. So, grand or very well, in a sense. Hami kutoyal. Hami kutoyal. Now, chanyel mi kuma is a negative and a good word. So, chanyel mi kuma, I'm not well. Chanyel mi kuma. Kimera how? Chanyel mi kuma. Another very common word you'll hear is Hami kyasht gulyor. Hami kyasht gulyor. I am okay. Or literally, I am right enough. Which again is a famous Highland English saying, right enough. Kyasht gulyor. I am right enough. I am okay. Hami kyasht gulyor. Kimera how? Hami kyasht gulyor. Another way of saying Hanyan Mikuma is if you want to see how exactly you would feel, you say Hami Chain. I am ill. Hami Chain. And if you more want to talk about your own state of how you're feeling as well, you could say Hami Fuer. I am cold. Hami Fuer. Kimmera Hau Chabon. Oh, Hami Fuer. Now, always use Tapo after Tapo Live when someone asks you how you are. 
It's just a nice thing to do. Kimirahau khalam. Hamikuma tapayat. Kimirahashu khatrena. Hanyan mitona tapoiv. So Han Hanyel, they live uh, within this little, um, with their part of the verb be. Be is the most basic verb in Gaelic, it's the one for being. And it helps create almost all the sentences in the present tense. And has the positive form, Hanyel is the negative, and avail is its question form. And they, they all fit into this triangle, and you'll get to know this triangle very well as you move through um, the, these lessons. Ha, Hanyel, Avail. So if a question starts with avail, you can answer it with ha or chanel, because Gaelic is what we call a verb, subject, object language. That's a VSO. And it uses that verb to create yes and no questions. So the verb will go to start, then it's the subject, then it's the object, or everything else that comes after it. So han chanel are only used a for yes and no in questions that have started with a veil, or perhaps there might be a ha in there. And uh, we look at this coming through. So, a veil u guma, are you well? Ha, yes. Ha mi guma, I am well. A veil u guma, ha, ha mi guma. And then, a veil shuski, a veil shuski. Are you tired? Chanyel. No. Hami kyarskulor. I'm okay. Or chanyel. Chanya miski. I'm not tired. So that's how you create it. The verb first. Ha or chanyel in this case. Then me or e or iain or mari or whoever the sentence is about. And then everything else can come after it. You'll see that in this next slide. VSO. Verb first, subject second. The object Anything else comes after that. Ha mari ski. Mary is tired. Ha mari ski. Chanyel dol fuur. Donald is not cold. Chanyel dol fuur. Ha piggy fuuroch alnan stjornevag. Ha piggy fuuroch alnan stjornevag. Peggy is living in Stornoway. And we use that to create our yes and no answers. This is a very common question you'll need to get to know. Avelu etikshi. Do you understand? Avelu etikshi. Ha, yes. Chanyel ijer, not at all. Chanyel, chanyel ijer. Moving on to this one here. Here's some sentences in Gaelic. Leave is at their hangi. Read and translate. And pause when you're ready and unpause when you want the answers. So Fatjara shares the answers to those questions. Uh, if you want to pause and mark yourself, then uh, go through them. Welcome back. Here's another um Exercise for you, scrive on in Gaelic, take these English sentences and put them into Gaelic. If you want, um, you, can, you should pause it and then get the answers on the next slide. And welcome back, and here are the Fregerston, the answers. And that'll be a little harder than it was, but hopefully you got them here. Hami Fuer, I'm cold. Hi, Kirschgelor, he's okay. Chanyel Ian Guma, John is not well. Hami Kudoyal or Hami Guma, I am I'm well, or I'm grand. Hadol Chain, Donald is ill. Chanyel Frischel Ski, Fraser is not tired. Aver Shiv Kashkalyar, plural usage, are you okay? Aver Fiumwe Guma, is Finley well? Chanyel Shintona. We're not bad. So here's a talk exercise you want to do with a partner. Uh, arrange a little uh, meet video conference call or uh, do it with somebody who's in the room. Introduce yourself. It's Misha. Now address the other person who introduces himself with the vocab case. Say they're Seamus. It's Misha Seamus. Say hello, Hamish. Ask them how they are. Kimmera how? Re or 
Shiv, and reply how you are. Tapayat. Now, if you're the second person in the conversation, ask Kimirahauhin back. Here's an example. Is Misha Khalam? Hallo Khalam, is Misha Ruri. Hallo Ruri, Kimirahau Khalam. Hamikama Tapalat, Ruri. Kimirahauhin. Hamikama Kajok Tapayat. Pause and have that conversation with some, as many partners as you would like. Welcome back, Fadshir Ash. Now, a very common question that's come out of uh, Gaelic in Highland English or Island English is what's doing? What's happening? What's going on? And that's the question, Jihatol. Jihatol. What's going on? Everybody say that together, please. Jihatol. And this is a very common greeting which um, many fluent speakers use very often. And there's quite a few ways to kind of make a generic answer to that. Chaniel moran ijir ijir. Not much at all. Chaniel moran ijir ijir. You might also say ha kusatol. Oh, there's too much going on. Too much is going on. Ha kusatol. Hami trang trang. I'm busy, busy. Hami trang trang. And of course, you might not want to see what's going on. Chaniel gurida. Not much to say. Nothing to complain about. Chaniel Gurida. Now, other useful phrases which are very useful uh, is certainly the word shug. Now, as we said, there's no simple yes or no in Gaelic, but the word shug is certainly one which could be of use to you. Shug. It just really means yeah or aha. Uh -huh. And you can use it for acknowledgement. Oh, hamikama. Oh, shug. Another one you'll hear, we looked at the vocative case in the last lesson. Uh, so, for example, looking at Seamus changing to a Hamish. And a very common one you'll hear is a valley. Hey, lad. All right, boy. Hey, a valley. Hello, a valley. And you can use it for uh, in informal situations with a friend. Hello, a valley. Come in, how a valley. How are you, boy? So here's another little talk exercise. Use that in those ways. Ask the question, Jihadol. Address somebody with an informal vocative case. For example, Echaraj. Hello, friend. And answer appropriately. For example, Jihadol Echaraj. Oh, Chaniel Moore. Jihadol. Who Ah, Chaniel Guri there. Pause and have that conversation. Falchi Dash, welcome back. So, if we ask somebody, uh, we can ask somebody, Kimira Hau or Kimira Ha Shiv, how are you? We can also check out who or Shiv and put in the word Anchija, the weather. Kimira Ha Anchija. How's the weather? Kimira Ha Anchija. Now, the weather in Gaelic is Anchija, but it can also be an Emisher, the weather. An Emisher. Just depends on dialect, but Anchija is the one that tends to be used most often. Now, both Inchija and an Emisher are feminine nouns. So to say it is wet, you have to say ha e. Not ha e, but ha e. And here's some good Gaelic uh, weather vocabulary. Ha e fluch, it's wet. Ha e fluch. Ha e fuer, it is cold. Ha e fuer. Ha e blah, it's warm. Ha e blah. Hai grianoch, it's sunny. Hai grianoch. Hai chi, it's hot. Hai chi. Hai chirum, it's dry. Hai chirum. Hai guoch, it's windy. Hai guoch. Hai garav, it's rough. Hai garav. That can also be used for windy as well. Hai bria. It's lovely. Hi Bria. Hi Skoch. It's cloudy. Hi Skoch. Hi Groth. It's horrible. Hi Groth. Hi Sturmel. It's stormy. Hi Sturmel. You can add the following verbs to the question Kimmerhan Chija. To be more specific in terms of time. 
in Jew, today, in Noch, tonight. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Jew. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Noch. Hai fluor in Jew, hai fluch in Noch. So here's a lavers talk. So, um, Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Jew. Answer these questions with a partner, as many partners as you can in the time you have. Get them, Martin Vaharaj, and ask them these questions. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Jew. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Noch. Kimmeraha in Jew. And say thank you at the end of the conversation. Hello, Martin Vaharaj. Hello, Ian. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Jew. Hi, Fluch. Shug. Kimmeraha in Chiju, in Noch. Hi, Guoch. Kimmeraha in Jew. Jerry, Jerry and Rast. So pause that, have a little conversation and move forward. Now, what we looked at previously with fluch and fuer was adjectives to describe the weather. But you can also use nouns. And if you use nouns, you have to use am. That's the best way to remember. If it's a noun, use am. And to say there is in Gaelic, you use a slightly different structure. You have to say ha, aum. And that clap, you put in the, the, the noun. So, there is rain, ha, and tushke aum. There is rain, ha, and tushke aum. There is snow, ha, and sniach aum. There is snow, ha, and sniach aum. Ha, clock and meow and aum. There is hail, ha, clock and meow and aum. Ha jawanich is tarnanich aum. Ha jawanich is tarnanich aum. There is lightning and thunder. And surprisingly, in Gaelic, we do have a word for dry weather. Turug. Ha turug aum. Ha turug aum. But more often than not, ha kyol aum. There is mist. So if you remember that you use aum whenever you use a noun, then you will be on the way with this, and you don't need to use a e or e. You say ha, kyo, aum. Verb, subject, object. Ha, kyo, aum. Now we need to know why in nishachgin, the days of the week, and almost all Gaelic days begin with j. And that's an old Gaelic word for day, but apart from one, but if you notice that there are actually eight words for days in Gaelic. And there's not, sadly, an extra day for Gaelic speakers that we keep secret, but here they are. Jolain, Jimarst, Jikiatain, Jerstain, Jehenye, Jesarnye, Jetonich, Wan Sapich. Jolain, Jimarst, Jikiatain, Jerstain, Jehenye, Jesarnye. Jutonich one sabbage. And that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One sabbage is used more traditionally for the Sabbath, eh, which is cell, which is marked eh, most often in the Isles of Sky, Harris, North West, and eh, Lewis, and other eh, communities on the west coast. But in the more southern islands, eh, which tend to be more eh, Catholic, they tend to use Jadoni in Argyll and in uh, the Southern Isles, US and Barra. Um, but there you go. If you see them again, Jawain, Jamarst, Jakiadin, Jerstung, Jahunya, Jasarnya, Jadoni, Wan Savage. Jawain, Jamarst, Jakiadin, Jerstung, Jahunya, Jasarnya, Jadoni, Wan Savage. Get used to seeing them, keep track of them, revisit this slide. So, if you look at the little icon here, uh, write a little Gaelic sentence with the weather for each day. So, Kimberahan Chiju, Jaloi. Kimberahan Chiju, Jamarsh, and so on and so forth. And what you can do is you could do this with a, with a partner if you wish. Um, but you'll get the answers on the next slide. So, pause it, try and make, write the sentence in Gaelic for each one using the icon that's there, and see how you get on. So here's the answers. Welcome back. Kimmeraha and Chiji. You can pause this if you want to type it, but we're going to read them out so you can have a little listen to them. Kimmeraha and Chiji, Joy. 
akyo al jubuin. Kimena ha in chija jamarst, ha snyach gaun jamarst. Kimena ha in chija jikiaden, ha ikrianoch jikiaden, it's sunny on Wednesday. Kimena ha in chija jostain, ha skoch jostain. Kimena ha in chija jahunia, two options, ha in tushka al jahunia, or ha fluch jahunia. Kimena ha in chija jasarnia. Hai guoch jisarnia. Hai guoch jisarnia. Kimen ha in chi jitoni. Hai chinim jitoni. Hai chinim jitoni. Or ha turigal jitoni. Kimen ha in chi jitoni. Hai chinim jitoni. Or ha turigal jitoni. Kimen ha in chi jitoni. Hai chinim now here's a bit of Oberdachi for you. Homework. Oberdachi. This is something you can do for the week. Scrieb. We're going to do a bit of writing. Scrieb. Keep a diary through the week. Record the weather each day. Use the following structures at least once. Hai, Hanyeli, and ha aun. For example, at the bottom there's a good example. Jiluing, Hai Fluch, Hanyeli Chiram, Han Tushka aun. Monday, it's wet, it's not dry, Han Tushka aun. There's rain. Jaluin, hai fluch, chanyeli chirim, han tushkal. And the last one, a little bit of talk, putting together all the stuff that we've used. You might want to use shug here. Greet a person, ask the question jihadol, address them with an informal vocative case, a valley, etc. Answer appropriately, discuss the weather. So that's the end of a uh, that lesson. Hi, Alwyn. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Tap alive, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Cheerio.